I think Jake Paul might just be one of the smartest influencers out there right now. And now, I, I'm not going to talk necessarily about the Ben Askren fight in its entirety. If you guys want to hear about the technicalities of it, Mexican Martial Arts on YouTube does a great job. and He made a video on it. It was really good. So if you guys want to learn about the fight, I'll link it. It's in the description. Or it's one of these cards. But I mostly want to talk about the power of influence and what Jake Paul being able to transition from a social media space into a professional field really says about influencing and a social media following. The very nature of being popular on social media means that there's a lot of people who not just identify but support your position. They support your persona and the entire fabricated, sometimes fabricated persona that you build around yourself. So when Jake Paul, someone with little to no qualifications, can come into a field where Ben Askren, Notorious Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather all have spent their entire lives focusing and perfecting a craft and being able to worry about the mental health aspect of it and really being passionate about a certain subject pretty much just gets dismissed when you have someone like Jake Paul who comes in and can basically pay his way in simply due to the fact that he has a lot of people that want to see it. Now what does that mean for influencers in the future? Well, that being said, there's a real power that comes with having a fan base behind you and we're starting to see that with Caitlyn Jenner starting to run for governor of California. I, I think the main aspect that needs to be tackled is the fact that when you have people who can pay their way into anything the same problem remains when it's in the business world where it's in the political world when you have people who can pay their way into any position you're ultimately getting rid of the people who have the ultimate qualifications i think this is something that we've been focusing on with our government lately but it's also a very scary thing even if you're not going to talk about it from exam from for example political or government aspect even if you're focused just on the athletic portion of it it may not be as impactful, but you're still getting rid of the passion and the drive behind the sport. For example, something like UFC, there's a real focus on precision, accuracy, focus, and just simply being in the right mental space to be able to perform. When you have Jake Paul who comes in and simply wants to make money, simply wants to expand his territory because he has this fan base, it's creating a platform of greed instead of focusing on, I guess, the art form aspect of it. And while there's an entertainment value that comes with seeing your social media influencers fight, battle each other, I guess, in a physical way, that can also almost be threatening to a lot of people who focus their entire lives on becoming and focusing on a specific career path, if that makes sense. If all it takes is to be an influencer and have a following to be able to be qualified in a certain position, then why don't we all just be influencers? It's almost starting to seem like we're going into this funnel where as long as you have the following and you have the numbers and you have the money you can get into whatever position you want and that's a very scary concept to me because there are people who spend their entire lives dedicated to one task dedicated to perf to perfecting something dedicated to working on getting better while you have people who come in and just say you know what screw you i have the money i'm better than you I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And to some extent, you can't really blame them. If you have the power and you have the ability, why not use it? So in that regard, you can't be upset, but at the same time, I really wouldn't be surprised if we now start seeing influencers go into a position where they can use their persona to expand into different career paths, which like I said earlier, ultimately dismisses the people who try their best to be perfect in that field or to be the best in that field. We're getting to an age where it's no longer about qualifications and earning notoriety from being good at something necessarily. It's more of working around your certain persona in order to be able to expand into different categories. And again, I don't want to dismiss the fact that maybe Jake Paul is seriously focused on this. Maybe he does care. Maybe this is something that he is actually focused on. But with his past performance, him and Logan and their focus on making money. At 22 years old, I bought my first house for $6.5 million. I wasn't quite satisfied, so I had a koi pond put in. Painted the walls of the guest house. Bought a giant truck known as the Yeti. Bought a school bus and then turned it into a cool bus. Installed a home theater system. I try not to live my life thinking about money. For some reason, I really doubt that. And when it comes to influencers, a lot of people I feel have a, a skewed vision on how it works. I think a lot of people want to get in and just to make money and get out, which is not really necessarily what the focus of it should be. Now again, I can't necessarily talk on other people on how they want to do their entire brand or whatever, but this is just something that I thought was unique and something that maybe we should be discussing a little bit more so I thought it'd be something to share with you guys again this is not a very long video it's just something that kind of came across my mind 
um, and I thought it would be interesting to talk about. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.